hello. Today's class is dedicated to Filippi, Marina, Fran, and Bruna. Is this common to you? Yes, it is common to me. My name is Lila, and this container is mine. It belongs to me. So the idea of possession is given by this punctuation, apostrophe, and the letter S. Let's start from uh, this punctuation. One of the usages of apostrophe is uh, to sign or to, yeah, to indicate that there is an omission there uh, of one letter or more. For example, the not reduction, as you may see in isn't, aren't, don't. So one letter or more uh, disappeared. And so uh, apostrophes are there to indicate that. The other usage of apostrophes is that they create some special plural cases. For example, 70s, the 80s, 1800s, or words such as do's and don'ts. Be careful. Don't use apostrophes to indicate regular plurals or to say to create regular plurals. One banana, many bananas. One CD, many CDs. One DVD, many DVDs. So, um, usage number three, yes, we need apostrophes and the letter S for possessive cases. In possessive cases, we always have an individual, a person, and a thing, uh, normally a thing that belongs to that person. Let's uh, consider this lady. Her name is Jane, and Jane has a bag. This is her bag. So, this is Jane's, Jane's bag. In reality, whatever Jane has, we will indicate by using apostrophe in this at the end of her name and here what she, she's got. For example, she, she has a bike, Jane's bike. She has a house, Jane's house. And look at that. Jane does have a house. And Bob, I don't know if Bob is her brother or husband, but they both have this only one house. In this case, two people and one object, one possession. So we start by Bob and Jane's house, or Jane and Bob's house. It doesn't matter who we uh, decide to mention first and later. Uh, the last name or the name closest to the object receives the uh, punctuation and the letter S. Not just people's names, for example, Doris is a lady, Doris's, Doris's house, Lucas, Lucas's car. You see, uh, these people uh, have names that end with S, that those letters, uh, the letter S, is not actually plural. Uh, symbology, it's not a plural thing, it's a name, like Jesus, for example. So, Doris's and Lucas's, that would be uh, maybe the correct pronunciation, I hope so. And uh, the nouns, which represent people, can also receive this uh, punctuation in S. So, doctors, my sisters, neighbors, doctor's prescription, my sister's wedding, and uh, the neighbor's dog. And if the noun is in the plural form, is in the plural with an S, for example, student, a regular plural, student, one student, many students. Here there are many students sharing just one bus. So the student's bus, just the apostrophe at the end of the word is enough. In the irregular plurals, let's say child, children. So here there are many children 
and many balloons. Uh, these are uh, the children's balloons. Children's children. It doesn't end with an S, so we add the punctuation and the extra S. I was about to forget, and what if we have two people and two possessions, different things? Uh, this is Tom, and this is his bike. This is Bob, and this is Bob's bike. Is it possible to put them together in a situation like so? Tom and his respective bike, Bob and his bike too, yes, two things, two people, so apostrophe S, apostrophe S, in each name. Okay, so um, in short, in order to understand the possessive case, it, uh, we need to create this mindset, a person and a thing. The person is mentioned first because people must be more important than their possessions. I hope you agree with me. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.